What's up, everybody? It's Easy, Easy Street Gaming, bringing another Clash of Clans video. Got some good news. Finally, got some good news. We're gonna watch a couple of replays from the last war, and I'm gonna go over what Supercell is doing, whether or not you know it, whether or not you see it, because it's sometimes it's little subtle things that these these companies do to improve the quality, the quality of life inside their game. And just as, as a little background, well, first let's do this. This is from the Last War. This is this is a guy. He's a former number one for years in the clan, back in the clan, and just a couple monstrous attacks. I'm gonna show a replay from him. I'm gonna show a couple from Flex. I might talk through them. I'm not sure. <laughs> so uh, get back to it. We have this tendency, just as it's the human condition, we root for the underdog. And it seems as things get more successful, we find more flaws in it. And Supercell is no different. This was a company that everyone loved. And then all of a sudden, they, they enjoyed great success. And it seems like they have a lot more negative um, talking vibes, whatever you want to call it. Um, but despite all that, they have done really well for their employees, first of all. Just Google what their average employee makes. And you'll see that they are definitely a company that takes care of their employees. So that's always a good thing. And as far as the players, we, we all know that they have they have updates. They do patches into the system. They try to listen to their, their, their players. They have people that are specifically hired to listen to the players and try to interact with the players and bring the players' ideas to the developers. So they're constantly trying to upgrade the game in a manner that we like. Unfortunately, we see all the negative. We see them as making billions of dollars and most people don't like that so they don't want to spend money on a game even though we spend money on games if this was not on a mobile platform we'd have to buy it we have to buy the platform we have to buy the game and that's okay when we decide to do it but they people think they're being manipulated when they have to uh, do in-app purchases especially if, when they're sneaky and there's a lot of companies out there with very sneaky in-app purchases. You get to points in the game where you just can't succeed without making an in-app purchases. They call them uh, pay-to-win. Supercell's been dubbed doing that with their game lines. But I'm, I'm here to tell you, someone that analyzes things constantly, they've had a, a pretty good turn in, the, in a positive direction for those that are, are willing to see the little things. And let, let's get into it. Oh, well, actually, how about this? Let's get into that in a few minutes. <laughs> this next attack was done by Flex. This is These are some really strong... Sla this is a slap attack. He has a couple variations of this attack. Remember, uh, now Flex is, has been in and out of the clan. Had his own clan for a little while. Back in the clan right now. with uh, We have almost all of our original members. With a few exceptions. And this is just a monstrous attack. He has found a way to be an effective three-star player in Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, and 11. Uh, and I'm the perfect example that it's not easy to do that. I was not a good three-star attacker in Town Hall 10. And even in Town Hall 11, the dip attacks are really simple for me, but three-star in another max Town Hall 11 is not that easy. I don't know. I haven't looked up the stats. I know that the, the overall average for a Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11 three-star is not that great. It was at one point when the miners were being used, and uh, <clears throat> since then, it's, it's gone down significantly, not for Flex. He has, he has adapted the, the Witch Slap with his own attack, the Flex. Two strong attacks. Check out the channel if you don't know what I'm talking about. So, back to Supercell. What they've done is they've added clan games. Now, a lot of people complain about clan games because it didn't give us... We're, people are waiting for a new character. They're waiting for a new troop. They're waiting for a new hero. They're waiting for Town Hall 12. And they haven't got that. Instead, we've got clan games, which is an element that kind of brings all the clans together. But there was... And then we have the traitor. And now, 
people immediately see a gem price attached to the trader and they think well this is another way for them to make money but if you look at it through a, a specific filter it's not really like that um, the perfect example is most people that have been playing that are 11 town hall 11 even if they're maxed out they will still spend money on gems they'll spend money on gems so they can farm or they can raid at a, at a higher rate and they want it now it, just so you guys see the expert um, editing I've managed to cut off the top of the attack with <laughs> the words so sorry about that e3 stars <laughs> so I know and I'm, again I'll use myself as a perfect example whenever I'm raiding I try to boost up my barracks that way I can get four or five raids in in an hour six raids whatever it is you don't really want to wait you know uh, my heroes are level 40 plus okay that's a little white lie uh, my heroes are around level 40 <laughs> I suck and uh, that's a that's 45 minutes for them to regenerate so you have to wait 45 minutes to do your second attack it's hard to sit down in front of a computer or, or on your phone and do that. So we all, we'll boost up our barracks. That costs 55 gems normally. It costs 30 to boost up the barracks itself, another 10 for the spells, and another 5 apiece for the queen, the warden, and the king. So that's 55. Now we can use the, the potion, which does the same thing for that same hour. And that is for sale inside the trader shop for 25 gems. I don't know the exact cycle. Again, I haven't really done my homework on this part of it, but I know that you get a free one often. I don't know if it's once a week, twice a week. I don't know exactly, but they do give you free potions as well. And they make sure that between your home village and the builder base, you can easily come up with 25 gems to buy these potions every single day. And it seems like when I run out of gems, a free one comes through or a gem box comes through. So they have managed to give feed us a steady supply of gems so we can purchase these potions and boost up our barracks. So I'm not having to spend, granted it was only a dollar at a time, but I'm not having to spend that right now. Uh, and this, let's uh, just reiterate something that I've said many times in the past. I don't mind supporting the, uh, anything that I'm doing. I don't mind supporting Supercell and paying for certain things. Uh, they need money in order to continue. Now, I know they've made plenty. They probably never have to make another dime and they'll still be able to stay in business for longer than I'll be alive. But you can't blame them for having good business. So I believe in supporting what you do. If we were going to go out and, uh, and I've said this in the past, if we're going to go out and play pool for the evening. I wouldn't expect the pool hall to give us free pool just to get us in the in the in the doors. We pay for that too, so you know you can pay for gems and you can pay for stuff. But if you don't have it and you still want to play, and we all go through this, this is again that we've been playing for years. Some of us don't have uh, the resources to continually pump in money for gems. We now have a way that we can still play at the level that we enjoy playing without having to pay for it. Um, and that's just with the potions. There's another big factor, and that is the the Book of Heroes. We'll get into that in one second. This is a newer player in the clan. Just hit Elder. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, so we're going to say it's Sagar. Sagar, Sagar, Sagar. <laughs> how many ways can you pronounce five letters? Um, I think that we've seen now six attacks from them and with the exception of one Town Hall 11 that was just way, way, way over a Town Hall 10's head. He's three-star every single one. This is a really elite attacker. Got kind of lucky to have him in the clan. I think this is the third time we've got to show his... And I don't know if it's him. I suck. You know, you think <laughs> you think you keep track of things. You just really don't. At least I don't. Probably the third time he's been been on the replays, so just impressive attacks. Been been, been attacking town, town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 with Inferno Towers. Um, got a lot of guys like myself that, that I have a Town Hall 10, but I dip a lot with it. So yeah, sure, I might get three stars with it, but it's also attacking Town Hall 10s without Infernos. Not Sagar, he's been knocking out these Town Hall 10s with the Infernos, no problem. Uses level 3 miners. Um, I use miners and hogs uh, during farm raids. They're very effective during farm raids. Not as effective for me in war, but he doesn't seem to have a problem with it at all. <laughs> so anyway, going back, 
another huge cost that a lot of us have is the heroes. Uh, the, the heroes take, I believe, seven days once you get past like level 20, 25. They're a seven day upgrade. They cost 999 gems to gem out. And there are players that can manage without them. There are players that will sit out of war. But there's also players that will put the $10 down and gem out their heroes every single time they upgrade them. That way they don't, they, they continue to use the heroes. So, and this is something that I've done over the years. I would, I'm terrified to look at my bank account to know exactly how many times I've gemmed out my heroes. Probably 150 times. Multiply that by 10 and you'll see why my family's pissed at me half the time. <laughs> But now we have the Book of Heroes. So if you're if you're in a clan that is capable of maxing out their clan games every single clan game, I believe every other games they give you a Book of Heroes. So you're able to use that a lot. Matter of fact, those of us that have multiple accounts, um, not because we have multiple accounts, but because we help our family members uh, manage their accounts, because it's not you're not allowed to have multiple accounts. Uh, according to the rules but anyway it's not easy to constantly upgrade all your heroes so once a week getting four heroes done is it's acceptable I guess and if you can get a book of heroes every single time you've just saved yourself ten dollars per account per week or every other week so again another great way that Supercell has thought about how their long-term players have been spending money and they've they're rewarding them by giving us these assets that we weren't didn't have before so I just want people to see that I know I've, I've been one of those that have complained about a lot uh, I've probably got 30 videos about engineer clans bitching about them um, I don't want to just be the person that points out the bad things there are a lot of good that's come out of supercell as well and I think that those need to be mentioned as well and the clan games you know Everyone may not want to participate, but if you are in a clan, it does, it actually does bring the clan together a little bit. Um, they seem like they're overwhelming there all the time, but just try to get into a good clan, try to play the games, have some fun with it, get those heroes up, don't spend as many gems as you have, as you used to. So, appreciate everyone for watching, sub to the channel guys, until next time, it's been easy, take care.